The streamers are ruining Twitch. The media right now. Hold on. Streaming is one of the greatest pieces of media right now. You're right, and the greatest streamers are people like Yusuf Sev. Literally everyone is live streaming. But one thing about live streaming that I'm starting to realize is that there's a pattern going on here. And it's that every single year, there's always a new meta that's just sexual as I don't know what. You know, in 20... Uh, what's good, ABG Lena? What's up? 2021, we had the hot tub meta, which basically streamers would sit in hot New tub. chat, bro. Why didn't you like watching hot tubs, hot tub streams? I don't understand, bro. Why didn't you wa like watching hot tub streams, bro? Was for hours in the just chatting section of Twitch with bikinis on, farming all the simps with all There's these nothing wrong with this. Sub goals. Some of those goals being your name on their body, some jumping jacks, your name on their floaty, or your name on their right. forehead. And it even got to a point where streamers were having fart goals. Like, it was pretty disgusting. Chad, would y'all donate if I said, like, a hundred subs and I'll write your name on my gooch? Or, like, I'll write your name on my ass crack or some like, some like that. I don't know, bro. Go forehead for forehead with this guy? What are you talking about, bro? Relax. That's not happening. Disgusting. If I'm Yo, thank you for the sub, uh, Sire. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. I'm being real with you. And Do also, with the hot tub meta, there was like the ASMR meta, which was kind of integrated with it. And with that... I remember that, bro. I remember that, bro. Chat, y'all remember the ear licking... It, bro i know y'all remember bro whatever man streamers would basically have like this little asmr device where yo amaranth chat if you like got that, the chance you could hear the licks i'm gonna play a little clip yo yo and they'd just be chilling in their hot tub with their butts bro. tooted to the camera dude i was about to say but i would get banned if i did this i'm immune though but some people would get banned if they did this. I'm immune though. Sucking and licking on this device all day like shit. And it even got to a point where instead of just doing ASMR, people started wearing masks with it. Like there was a clip of Amaranth with pigeon mask and horse mask. Like it was a pretty crazy yeah, I time. I'm being real with you. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. And this meta never really left Twitch because Twitch eventually added this section called pools, hot tubs, and beaches, which is basically a way of Twitch. Is that still really bad, by the way? Getting in the way of other creators. But if you take a look at this section, like nobody is at a pool, in a hot tub, or at a beach. I'm actually gonna look at the section right now. Like literally, if you look at all these streams, there's probably like 15 streams on screen. What the? F Why they all got their f legs spread, bro? Oh hell no. Is this shit still that bad? Dude, why is this guy complaining about ass though? Are you yeah, gay? that was one meta on Twitch. Then in 2022, like this wasn't really a meta, but you had a girl having intercourse on stream and she only got banned for a week, which is- How long I would get banned for if I fucked a girl on stream chat? Real shit. How much I would get banned for? Kind of crazy considering that there's people out there who have gotten longer bans for some of these smallest things. And then in late 2023, another meta spawned out of nowhere, which was the nude meta, which is pretty self explanatory. And then there was also a point this is where my favorite one streaming literally naked with censored bars. Okay, I want y'all not this is not me projecting in any way. Have you ever gotten like full brick to a Twitch stream? Yes or no? Like, just be real, bro. Just be real, bro. Have y'all ever gotten full brick to a Twitch stream? Yes, who hasn't? Okay. Y'all just being honest. Okay, good. Yours? Not funny, because I get y'all are joking, bro. I get y'all are joking, but like, I'm just being honest, bro. Fuck them. Twitch put out a statement because a lot of people were talking about it and they said that they're basically going to allow this. They said that they're allowing implied nudity. So you could do things Is this like still this. allowed or no? It was horrific on Twitch because it literally looked like the hub 2.0 and a lot of people were outraged. So Twitch ended up backtracking. Oh, never and mind. That was the end of it until recently because there's now a new meta taking over on Twitch. And that is the green screen meta. Here's a quick look. I'm just up in this biz. Yo, nigga, this you is. Know what happened to Bachan on God that nigga just disappeared? This is like, like all jokes aside, this is genius, bro. This like, this girl is actually like a genius for this shit, bro. Like this is low key genius, bro. Are there people fighting outside? I don't give a fuck, bro. I need to post Like she's smart as fuck Sheesh. for this.
Kachow. Yes, you saw that right. Women on Twitch are now playing video games off of their butt. But I don't get that. Why don't I she just go stream so on Chatterbait, bro? But at the same time, I got to give this woman her props. I literally do. Because with streaming, it is pretty hard to innovate because there's not much you can change with the Twitch stream. But this woman has found a whole new way to stream. And this is pretty creative. Like I said, I can't even hate. It's so good to the point where I'm like, okay, man, like I just got to give this woman her flowers. Now, don't oh, nah, he a Twitch jerker. I could tell y'all this nigga a jerker. Nigga, he, he a little too, you know what I'm saying? This nigga a jerker, bro. I wrong. can tell, bro. She's just banking I could tell. here with this one. I mean, takes one to no one. Counter. Yeah, fuck it. I, I done stroked my shit a little to a Twitch stream before. But keep in mind, I've had Twitch since I was 13. Keep that in mind. Chat, I've had Twitch since I was 13. Keep that in mind, bro. I have had Twitch since I was 13, bro. <laughs> Are in the top right and also wonder what she means by creamy treat i, I don't know what that means but that, that's kind of weird but like i said this creative and i feel like a lot of people could agree that this is pretty creative like usually these metas are overly sexual and some was of it to do funny. Nah, i was to like, an like, agent stream what you're trying to do right here but this one is genuinely funny like i can't even lie there's actually a clip i saw on twitter of a vtuber doing Kidding. the same meta and that vtuber was basically playing overwatch off of her chest With your fake titties? What? What? Nigga, that's not even a real person. She playing off of fake titties? Yes, which is pretty crazy. Another meta that's pretty big on Twitch right now is also something that I'd like to call the two cam meta. Now, if you don't know what the two cam meta is, well, basically, dude, hey, thing. real niggas know I originated the two camera meta. That's, that's all I'm saying, bro. Meta. Just with no green. That's screen. all I'm basically, saying, bro. Girls are streaming Yo, I, I had that one shit a year ago, bro. And the other focus real on shit. The butt. And I'm not going to lie. This one is actually like this one is kind of crazy. There is no reason why this should be allowed on Twitch. Like, let's be real here. This woman is literally almost naked with her whole butt pointed at the camera and her yiddies out just flopping around like bro yo was she actually autistic chat i don't know if she was trolling bro i still remember that day we was playing fortnite with her and she was like telling me she's actually special ed bro but i don't know if she was being serious look the other one was funny but this whole meta like this one i'm not gonna lie this one is just overly sexual but what's funny is that occasionally in these streams with like the two cams there will be gameplay here and there and there's actually this one stream i saw of this one girl playing hell divers 2 which is like a new multiplayer game you know nigga is this game. an ad and she had the two cams on but the gameplay was so small in the time nigga first off you really think asian bunny is playing this fucking game dummy Nigga, she's standing at her desk in a pre-recorded video, mashing the keys, and there's fake gameplay playing on the screen. She is not playing that shit, bro. I promise you she is not playing that shit. Nigga, this shit a rerun too, bro. She is not even actually there. Just bouncing on that jiggle machine, bro. The fuck? She probably got fucking, uh, she watching some random video on the monitor, bro. You think she be reading her chat? Fuck no. She's live right now? Is she playing a game? See, right here, she's actually, damn, she's not even showing her ass? What? Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Wow, bro. Is the chat, what are niggas in the chat saying? Um, damn, she ain't, sh <laughs> damn, she ain't shaking ass today. No bikini privileges. Oh my god, bro. No bikini? Go out of the stream, people. Nah, this is fucked up. You look good with actual clothes on. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, hell no, nah, dude. Hell no, nah, dude. 3K of those people really fuck with her? I'd say 1.5 of those are like gooner niggas that just have that shit permanently tabbed. Like her stream is just always open on their computer. I guarantee you top right nobody is seeing that little ass gameplay in the top right my guy <laughs> like <laughs> this girl is over here twerking her butt and shaking her yiddies with the game dude but the chat, how did right, they just kinda... shake their ass for like eight hours straight like if you s jerk your dick for eight hours straight that shit will start to hurt the jiggle in your butt for like eight hours not start making your butt hurt like your cheek your cheeks don't start like aching a little 
to make it seem like oh i'm just playing a game here when in reality nobody can see that game nobody is there for the game at all we know what you're trying to do like that one kind of pisses me off like at this point you might as well just take the gameplay away because i can't even see what's going on up there can you see exactly no i gotta squeeze Nigga, your ass not focusing play, on the gameplay bro you looking at Asian money, fucking Asian booty. Big with streaming right now, which this isn't really on Twitch, because I feel like Twitch would be Fuck. quicker to ban with this meta. Stop but playing, this is more bro. of a kick thing, so it's not really like it's not much of a surprise if I'm being real. Wait, are the hot tub streams and shit on kick worse? I never even saw that section. Are the hot tubs and beaches streams on kick worse than Twitch? No. Oh damn. But I guess I should just show you guys. I can't really like explain it. Let me check. Chill, bro, Chad. Don't spam cot haram. Chill. Let me just, I'm just checking. I just want to know. I just want to know. One in the chat once your pants are off. We're about to begin stopping cock, but not just yet. Now, well, as you are rubbing outside of your pants, you are now going to rub outside of your boxers. I'm glad there's at least one person with an ounce of like sense. Stop saying what? Actually, I'm not even going to say an ounce of sense because they're actually watching this stream. But this person is thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. What the absolute fuck is stop? Fuck is stopping cock? Nigga, stick around and find out. Real nigga like me watching that shit. Don't come for her, man. She will absorb your souls. Do you really want to walk this earth soulless? What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? What the fuck is that nigga talking about, bro? Stop in cock. You gotta be on what? an astronomical level of down bad to be watching something like this. I am sorry. One in the chat once you're rubbing from outside of your boxers. I've been driving with boxers on only, mommy. Yo, imagine you sitting in bumper to bumper traffic and you don't know the nigga two cars over watching her stream and rubbing his meat over his pants, bro. Over his boxers. You have no idea. This nigga in the car on the highway watching these, bro. Oh my god. Like a good boy. Perfect. Keep doing that until we begin the signal lights. One, if you're my good boy. Do not be upset with me. What did that say? What did that say? Uh. 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 uh what the fuck, bro? Do not be upset with me that I can do the bare minimum and get away with it. Don't be upset with me that all I have to do is hold up a sign and I can make you come on command. Stop! Permission to smell mommy's <laughs> panties. Yeah! No, oh, like I no. said, this was on kick, so it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty expected. Like, yo. kick is just full of degens. Obviously. Yo, free Fousey 2, man. Yo, let's get a moment of silence for Fousey 2, man. Dots in the chat, bro. Free Fousey 2, bro. We need a moment of silence for my nigga, man. Shit, bro. Free my nigga Fousey 2, bro. Fuck. Something like this is bound to happen on kick. Like, let's be real. We're man. not surprised. All that being said, I just think it's kind of crazy how Twitch is allowing this stuff to happen. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of these are funny. Like, the green screen Fortnite. Like, come on, bro. Like, I can't even lie. Yeah, like, you horny ass nigga. On a whole nother level. Like, man. I really can't hate with that one. But at the same time, man. some of these are just overly sexual. And it's obvious what these girls are trying to do. They're literally just trying to funnel people to their OnlyFans and finesse these simps. And I just find it. Chad, you know what? What's wrong with that, bro? It's 2024. I would let my wife have an OnlyFans, bro. Let's let women get that bag, bro, and really, really apply themselves, bro. You know what I'm saying? Interesting how every you know year there's always a new meadow on Twitch that's crazy sexual. A bunch of people talk about it. It dies down later on. Twitch never really- Your did. stream thumbnail? Stop. How I see my stream thumbnail? How do I see my stream thumbnail? How do I see my stream thumbnail? Wait, how do I see it? On mobile, maybe? Wait, how do I see it? Is it bad? Nigga, it's literally just nothing. What are you talking about, bro? It's literally nothing. What? Is he onto something? Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Let me dig in that butt. Okay, bro. What the fuck, man? Dude, holy shit, bro.
ends it then it always comes back and the cycle repeats each and every year and i honestly feel like this is one of those situations where you can't really hate the player you just gotta hate the game if i'm being damn right. is it because twitch's twitch fault is the one to blame here like if twitch really wanted to ban each and every one of these girls each and every time they popped up they could but they choose not to because for one reason and that one reason is money because believe it or not these girls bring in a lot of money to the platform because when you think about it these ethos generate more revenue than the regular twitch stream this is not the regular yo chat why do they be trying to make twitch streamers look like losers bro like this is not the regular average twitch streamer bro like what the fuck yo we really some cool ass niggas bro like like real shit like we really some cool ass niggas bro you know what i'm saying? like real shit like who are the most viewed like number one viewed streamers on all of twitch bro like if you go to live channels high to low yeah, it's no weird niggas. It's Kai, Queso, Sea Dog, Tens. Like, come on, bro. It's no neck beard motherfuckers. Like, it's like, it's calm, bro. It's calm. Like, what? You lost me after Queso? Bro, he looks normal. What? And I come back and this dude says L Vapor. Do I look like a guy that vapes to you? Do, do I literally look like a vapor? I mean, after him? Mm. Type in his chat. Y'all think he knows me? Hold on. He what you want? Oh, I had a follow? Kitty, what Yo, you doing? Okay, so let's Kitty. play Fortnite. Ooh. Time to get stressed out, chat. Here we go. Hold on. This is another one of the top streamers, though. Killed everything. Yo! You trying to play some Fortnite? This looks unpleasant. A little bit unpleasant. Uh, Wait, I think he missed my message. With current mouse and mouse pad, are you planning on, planning on using 0.157? Yeah, I think he I I think he missed my message, bro. I don't know what happened. All right, like Chad, I think he I think he missed mine, bro. But yo, the gaming, yeah, the gaming streamers be streaming on like a crazy ass delay, bro. Like an OD delay. Why is Chad so slow? He got 20k viewers. Dude, I don't think y'all understand. When niggas is gaming streamers, the chat be just as locked in on the game as them niggas, bro. The chat be slow as fuck, bro. They just be locked in on the fucking game, bro. Sitting there playing a game or reacting to videos. Because they can generate hundreds of subs within minutes because of these crazy incentives like fart goals and squats on stream. While Hell other yeah! streamers can only generate a fraction of that within hours. Now, this isn't me defending these girls, but I do think that Twitch is the main problem here. Because Twitch is only allowing these girls to pass by because they're making enough money for the platform. Because if they were making so no tell, money, why all, doesn't Twitch, Twitch ban me? Instant. Are they making but money they off of me? Bring in money and Twitch kind of needs money, they're going to allow allow it like twitch is open about their financial struggles the yo CEO i'm lagging yo i'm lagging yo i'm lagging yo i'm lagging yo i'm lagging why my wi-fi stick just fall on my pc again bro yo what's the best super glue yo i need super glue i need Man, wait why did i lag as soon Love as i you. mentioned getting banned why did i lag as soon as i mentioned twitch banning me are they sending me a message are they trying to send me a message, bro? I'm sorry, Dan Clancy. And look what's on my screen. Hold on, bitch. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, bro. And look what's on my screen, bro. Oh, hell no. This nigga's trying to send me a fucking message, bro. Yo, Dan Clancy, I'm sorry, bro. Yo, I will obey the rules. You're my master. I'm sorry, bro. When you say jump, I say how high. When you tell me to dance, I ask you one move. Whatever you say. Dan Clancy talks about it all the time that Twitch isn't a profitable platform. You know, I can be, I'll be blunt, <laughs> profitable at this point. Amazon has been extremely- Dude, by the way, chat, Twitch. Um, every um, Twitch streamer is going, uh, losing a lot of money very soon because Twitch Prime is going away, like, by the end of the year, I'm pretty sure. They're gonna, they're gonna get rid of Twitch Prime, bro. Um, and a big thing for being sustainable over time is ensuring that um, we don't lose money. And that's a big part of my job because that's going to be what makes sure we can be here. Oh, God. That's what everyone's been saying, bro. And uh, apparently it's looking like that shit happened. Happening. Corbin, thank you for the sub, bro. You're cooked. Now, nah, realistically, 
out of like 2k subs i have like 350 or 400 that are prime it's like a, a lot but it's like not enough that it's like that bad because chat they lose money from twitch prime bro they lose hella money from that shit yusuf i was helping my mom set up some bases she asked me to hold it up and not let them fall as she left the room i screamed and yelled yusuf my mom cried in horror. She knew they fell. Term. They literally just laid off 500 employees. So it's pretty evident that Twitch is struggling. Ha 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 ha! Funny, bro. Dollars. Fucking funny. So when funny. stuff like this happens for Twitch, it's great for them because it makes them a lot of money. And if they can find a way to monetize it, they're going to try to, like they did with the hot tub meta. But at the same time, there is a huge Fuck it, should I start to jerk off meta on Twitch? And that downside is that it makes the website as a whole look bad. Because when somebody thinks about Twitch, they're not going to think of the many great streamers on the platform. They're going to think of the clip that they saw. All right. Type one if your meat is out. Hold on. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. I'm hitting my leg, bro. Chad, I'm hitting my leg. I'm kidding. I'm hitting my leg. Relax, bro. Relax. I'm hitting my leg. Don't be weird, bro. Don't be weird. Dan Clancy, he's streaming his meat to minors. Uh, of the girl playing Fortnite off of her butt, or the clip that they saw of the girl with two cams pointed at her yitties and her butt. And also another downside is that these girls make other female streamers look bad because there's probably many female streamers out there who create genuine. Damn, yo, Chad, name five female streamers without only OnlyFans. I got Pokemon, I got Valkyrie, and then my mind go blank. I ain't gonna lie. My mind go blank after that, bro. I'm just being real. Oh, no, I got Kai Day 2. That's three. My mind go blank after that. I ain't gonna lie. Nadia, I'm pretty sure she got that shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm talking about, like, big ones. Big ones. Big ones. Big, big ones. Big ones. Big ones. Name five streamers that are not balding. Yeah, you're funny, DEO. You're a funny guy. Okay, Mari. Emaru, okay, yeah, y'all got it, y'all got it. Maybe I'm a fucked up guy. Content, but they don't get the credit they deserve because of women like this. And if a female streamer does reach those heights of success, their success is always going to be downplayed because people either think that they're a titty streamer or they're just milking lonely men online. Like they're not going to think that they create real content, you know? Like yeah, yeah bro. Easy thoughts do That's why a I'm a tier money, three Pokemon. At the same sub. time, it's at the cost of the other streamers on the platform, which I think is kind of bad if I'm being real. Okay, so the video you guys just watched was recorded about a week ago. Shout out Bobby Schmurda. You feel? Me? me and today right now as i'm recording it is march 28th 2024 and twitch actually put out a statement yesterday march 27th basically yeah. saying how starting on friday march 29th content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be a the worst decision they ever made bro they lost me as a viewer type one if twitch lost you as a viewer that day bro they lost me as a viewer bro they lost me as a viewer after that shit bro i ain't gonna lie loud meaning that the stuff i talked about in this video is basically done for coming march 29th kick and, deal coming know, soon i'm not gonna lie this is a huge w but at the same time i am kind of concerned like i seen a comment on this tweet that says they can switch body parts every 30 seconds and then there's another comment that says these streamers are two steps ahead of you and working on a new meta that will force you guys to move the goalposts yet again these band-aid fixes won't do anything see you in three months i feel like this is a step in the right direction but at the same time i do feel like people are still gonna find a way to break the rules and i'm kind of concerned you know but time will tell maybe i'm wrong maybe everyone could be wrong in this comment section but yeah Shut i just up, like I had to add that to the video now this guy this is actually a good bit it made me realize that i'm not doing shit right bro this is the way to really make it bro i gotta hit up strawberry tabby and ask her for another collab bro